very welcome to you. We are back with 23rd of June's Holy Blessing, which you're going to listen to most probably in the evening at around 8 o'clock. So, Supreme Father wants us to be a happy face and not a sad face. So, how do we do that and how do we become an example to the world that we have received what we were looking for for many births? Exactly. God says, may you be a yogi soul who gives vision of power of your mind in the mirror of your face. That means you are strong and powerful. Nothing can deter you. Even if somebody is showing agony and pain and anger and jealousy and everything around in front of you, you are constant. Nothing deters you. Nothing makes you feel shaky. So God says, whatever is on your mind is definitely revealed on your face. Whatever is on your mind is definitely revealed on your face. That means face is the mirror to your mind in simple terms. That's where body language came up. In the end of Kali, people started looking at the body language. They tried to change their bodily expressions or facial expressions to show people that they're very happy. You can fake a smile and be like, very nice. So God says that is not the truth. You cannot do it out here to make it better in here. You have to make it better here and automatically the out, the face becomes jovial, happy and everything else. So God says, do not think that you have a lot of lot on your mind. I have got so many things on my mind. The mirror of the power of your mind is your face. The mirror of the power of your mind is your face. That means whatever is going on in your mind, disheartenment or happiness, contentment, is all being shown on your face. No matter how much you say that your yoga is very good, my yoga is very good, or that you are constantly dancing in happiness. No matter how much you say that your yoga is very good, that means my meditation is very good, or that you are constantly dancing in happiness, when people see your unhappy face, none of them would believe you. It's as simple as that. That means you cannot fake it till you make it over here in spirituality, in Brahma Kumar especially. Let the shine of having attained everything be visible on our face. We have attained God, we have attained the knowledge, that means we have attained everything. And if you are walking that already path, then we are walking the talk. That means we are also seen as what we are talking about. Let your face not be such seen as dull, but let your face be seen as happy. Only then will you be called a yogi soul. If your face is shown as unhappy, then nobody will call you a yogi soul. Situations come, you become gambhir, that's okay. But if situations come and you become sad and morose, then that is not a yogi soul's life. And that's what we learn in Pramakumaris and on a daily basis, whatsoever experiences we go through are teaching us that no matter what happens, we have to be jovial, we have to be happy souls. And that's what God is here to teach us.